Three outs in a row, including the throw from White to the catcher. Here's a chance for two, first to second, and a first, and a double play for the Tar Heels, and they get out of yet another jam. Brown to White to Kelly. Driven to the wall. Mid-range through the wall. That should score a run. Mateen's around third. She's in, and a stand-up double for Brown and the Tar Heels with an early 1-0 lead here in the first. Both take the struggle to control early in this one. Nice pitch. Strikeout. Brown batting 338. She will get her rips. And here's another one. Driven deep and gone. A three-run homer for the Tar Heels. And it's now 5-1 North Carolina. Yeah, we just left the pitch up in the zone, and Brown just made no mistake. Crushed it. But opting to go with Causey here. 1-1 one, one count, two outs. Causey drives it deep, and what a decision! A grand slam pitch hit for Causey! And it's now 9-7 Tar Heels! And like I said, it was the right decision, Dean, <laughs> by Coach Papa. <laughs> she felt good about Causey, and Causey drives the grand slam. Yo, Fry will respond. This one. It's also driven there. deep. Got a shot. And gone! And a home run here. Brown has been an RBI machine this weekend, and it's now 10-7 Tar Heels. Brown. Carolina able to answer the six-run fourth for BC with at least five here in the bottom half. Nice changeup and a strikeout. Giving up 18 earned runs. Strike three in the play at first after the drop by Parrish. Two up, two down here in the top of the sixth. In steps Kendra Lynch. Lynch, one for three today. Lynch driven deep and goodbye. And perhaps good night in game one as it's now 15 to seven Tar Heels. The second grand slam to right field on the day. Kendra Lynch, as that, that puts them up by eight. And that's right. And we've completed five innings, so in softball, an eight-run lead after five. We'll wrap it up. Two grand slams.